I want while we're at it and let me say this with my whole chest when I when I choose not to talk to my mother and this is I don't know if she'll ever see this but I'm gonna say it I know my mother in her head thinks oh she refuses to see me because the Holy Spirit will not let her because the Holy Spirit will not let her face me because she knows that everything she's doing is wrong and the Holy Spirit will her guilty conscience will eat her up inside let me tell you something I am not facing you to save you from your own feelings because I will hurt your feelings with the things that I have to say to you to put you in your motherfucking place. So let's salvage whatever memory you have of me in our relationship and let's leave it with what it was because what I have opened my eyes to now is going to destroy you and I don't want that to happen. So make whatever story you want in your head because it's going to be better it's, the story that you have in your head is better than what will happen in reality if we face each other and actually have to have a conversation and I have to explain to you and break it down and you're not going to like it because you want to stay in your brainwashing and you have your rose colored glasses on and you don't want me to come in here and make you use your brain and it's going to upset you and all you're going to do is spew names at me and say the same shit you used to say to my sister. Oh, you think you're so smart? Yeah, we are. We're actually both very smart. We understand this is for the whole soul, soul contract. But right now you're not mature or aware enough to understand what is happening. And so it's just going to upset you and hurt your feelings. And it's just not going to go anywhere. And we all need to stop giving family and people excuses just because we're related to them or, or because you've known them forever. Because if you remove yourself from your meat suit from your human suit unzip look at people first as souls look at humans as souls see past what you're seeing on the outside see past the bloodlines okay see past all that see the soul if this person was not your parent would you want them in your life is that a person you would you would want to hang out with or are you being are you forcing yourself because of what society is telling you you should do and because you feel bad and guilty but everything is always on their terms and never on yours and you constantly have to put your feelings aside to make them happy who is that benefiting it's only benefiting them and at this point it's it's not even you're not even acting it's just fake and it's not good for you for your health for your mental health for your body it's just not good you deserve to be at peace and if removing these people from your life will put you at peace do it and do it now and do not feel bad about it because people will tell you i'm praying that one day you guys reconcile i'm sending you good vibes so you guys can reconcile oh i hope that maybe when you're older um you know or they're older they can understand they don't know any better excuses 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 let me tell you something i don't need you to pray for me for us to reconcile i don't need you to wish upon a star for please do not waste your prayer or your wish on me and my mother reconciling because i have made this decision and this is just something that i just felt like i had to say out loud and i'm saying it out loud because it's been a long time coming. I'm no longer angry, but I will not be making excuses. And I will not be in, in hurt or in pain over the way that she's choosing to handle the situation now. She has chosen her path. She has chosen her timeline. And that is part of her soul's contract. If you read the text earlier, I said that this is my parents' first human life because they were reptilians and they were reptilian bloodline in the past and um in the last life lifetime they decided to end their contract with the dark timeline and come back and start over and they essentially have to start from the bottom because they've been reptilian bloodline this whole time so and i got a, a reading done and that's that this is how i know and everything makes so much sense and so um i was like okay that makes sense but me and my sister have lived at we're soul we're part of the same soul family and we have lived every lifetime together and we chose to come in here to um help them evolve in their soul contract and us evolve in our soul contract so we all four agreed to do this um but according to my akashic records which another person did um my sister and i are part of the same soul family but my parents are just imprints they're just imprinted memories into our brain to help us with this timeline 
I know this might sound crazy to new people, but my people know. My people know what I'm talking about. My people get it. And when you start seeing things on a spiritual, more deeper level, like there is a soul contract. You, if you haven't heard of Dolores Cannon, like look into Dolores Cannon. All this stuff will start making sense to you. This is just one timeline. Our soul exists forever and not everyone who you physically know in this world is your soul family and sometimes you just agree to do things and you think you're hurting them but you're actually doing them a favor because you are helping their soul evolve. A lot of deaths happen for the evol the involvement of souls. It's like if there's a death in the family, it is so that family can grow and evolve. And that soul agreed to have that death at that time. We they we check in with our higher selves before we exit out, and we say, "I um I want to exit out," and our higher selves can approve or say, "No, I think you should stay a little longer." There are exit points that we go through. So, believe me, there are so many layers to this that we are not aware of. And we are not privy to, but that's why it's good to do the research and really dive into learning about this stuff if you guys want to know. And it will help your soul evolve and it will help you with your trauma. It will help you realize, um, it will help you do the shadow work and it'll help you really understand things. Astrology is very important. All of this stuff is very important. All this stuff that my mother, who I believe is my my handler slash agent um in this lifetime you know she's very very wired with that reptilian control thinking that they have had for so long because they're used to taking over planets so that was that's already instilled in her dna and i understand that and i also have reptilian dna in me i am a part of that as we are all now mixed and so we have to make sure that we allow the light the light part in our dna to come forward instead of giving into the reptilian side of the brain so while I was so angry and so hurt, I went through a lot of what I call my personal, my therapy, plant medicine, ayahuasca, DMT, um, Bufo, 5-MeO, Cambo, um, mushrooms, um, marijuana, acid, all this stuff is all like, acid is the one that's like, you know, a little eh, but besides that, uh, acid is great, it's great, but um, besides that, plant medicine was my my doctor the spirits of the plant medicine and when you go in there really wanting to get help really wanting to understand things and really wanting to know that you are you're doing everything you can in your power the medicine will help you the medicine will walk you through it and you will integrate i'm still integrating years later all of this this is what i went in to ayahuasca for to figure out my relationship with my parents because i was in so much pain and so much hurt by them and two years later in may is going to come up my th that that dream that i had where i said i dreamt you and dad were killing me with scissors um it was a metaphor and um and i had that on may 19th the day before i went and did ayahuasca for the first time and then you guys saw that Sam said that I was created on May 23rd, the day I got back from ayahuasca. I remember coming back from ayahuasca being extremely scared to go to sleep because of the images I saw under ayahuasca. I was really, really scared and I prayed and I said, please take me back to that place and let me have just a beautiful feeling of love and everyone that was there because they, I say ayahuasca saved my life and those people that were there with me were angels sent from God. I love everyone that I met at Hummingbird Church and I will never forget it and I'm forever eternally grateful and um, it changed my life. It changed the trajectory of my life and I am so much happier now being myself and being true to myself than I ever was following what my mom and religion told me to do. So though I couldn't go to therapy because I didn't have a, I didn't have insurance, I couldn't afford a therapist. Um, and I also thought that therapy was kind of pointless in the way that all you do is you talk to someone and then they can't really tell you what to do. They're not really a guide that much. Like as far as like old traditional therapy, you know, when we're growing up, like I did not see therapy as something that worked on people because people would be in therapy for like 20 years. And I was confused if therapy is supposed to work, you shouldn't have to be in therapy this long. So to me, therapy didn't seem like kind of a dead end. And so I never really believed in therapy in that way. And so when I started plant medicine, once I moved here, which I know was a part of my journey for me to move here so that I could fall into all this and follow that path, I went in head first and I never did drugs or, or any, and it's not drugs, it's plant, plant medicine, but people see it that way, but I never did anything. I started smoking weed in 2017, like once in a blue moon. This is all brand new. I'm a whole different person. 2017, when our Saturn returned, I am a whole new person and I fucking love it and I feel like my life is just getting started and so I think that's why I'm scared to be like 
getting married or having kids because I'm like whoa 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 my life just began like you don't understand the prison I was in I was in a mental prison I was in a prison in my home I was a prison in my life okay so now I get to be free I get to do what I want and if anybody's sitting here trying to tie me down like I get scared even though I always wanted to like just settle down and be secure and now I'm like I'm I'm I feel stuck I feel stuck in one place I need to get out I need to do things I'm bored that's why I live the life I live because I can't just do the normal thing I'm not a normal person I'm a little alien okay y'all and right now I do feel like I'm an alien living on a spaceship because all of my friends are really just online friends at this point and I have very few in life in real world friends as you can see and I just share my life with y'all because like damn I don't know what to tell you my whole life new life started during the pandemic and now I'm just trying to figure out who I am without the world telling me who I need to be and so I will keep pushing forward and I'll keep being the weirdo that I am because I will never go back to the place that I once was because I've come too far I've done too much work I've worked so hard to get here and two years ago I went into ayahuasca wanting to know what to do about my, the relationship with my parents and that transferred on to all of my plant medicine journeys and then now here I am about to you know my birthday's next month and here we are I've cut the cord with those scissors that they were trying to kill me with. I cut the cords. I cut the ties. They are now on their soul evolution of growth and they will have to figure that on their own. I am. It is not my responsibility to teach them how to go about life. And if they are watching my content, then they have they have the cheat code. You all have the cheat code because I have shown you how to do it. And this is why I do it. So everybody can have the cheat code on how to escape the matrix because I've done it. And I may look crazy and I may look like a bitch and I may look like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck because I am having a blast and it's not easy and it's not secure. And I'm flying by the seat of my pants every day just trying to figure this shit out and lead us all through this really hard time that humanity is going through. But I like to add a little fun to it and make it a game so that it helps everybody and helps the collective get through it. And we can get through it easily and seamless, seamlessly. And I know this is part of my soul mission. I had to go through what I went through so that I could be the person I am now, so that I could be as outspoken as I am because I was told to be quiet for so long, opened up my throat chakra during that ayahuasca ceremony. And I have done so much work since then. And now I can step in fully into my purpose. And that is sitting on my soapbox and just showing the world that you can be whoever you want to be and you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish and fuck the rules, bitches the rules were made to be broken and we came here to break them so fucking break them break them break the generational curses you got this you guys this is what we came for you're not a weak bitch you've made it th you've made it through everything and you're here now you cannot go backwards you can only go forwards we're just gonna keep going we're just gonna keep moving forward let's have fun this is now we have gotten rid of the old we we have we have thrown out the trash and now we get to we've made room for all the new that's coming in now this is so exciting we have a lot a lot coming our way a lot of abundance a lot of joy a lot of love a lot of fortune oh my gosh so do what you need to do you guys but this is the final the final cleanse of this solar eclipse and everything and we are headed towards like magical magical times it's going to be unbelievable and a lot of people are really going to be confused but Everyone's going to get on one timeline finally.